I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question based on optimization. We'll try to find the minimum distance from a point to a curve. The question here is determine the minimal distance from the point minus 3 3 to the curve given by y equals to x minus 3 whole square. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let me sketch here to give you an idea how what we're trying to do. So we have a curve here which is given by y equals to x minus 3 whole square. That means a parabola which has moved 3 units to the right and an external point which is at minus 3, 3. Let's say somewhere here, right? So minus 3, 3. So we need to find the minimum distance. So that is what we are looking to get. So this external point is, is at minus 3, 3, correct? So let's call this point as P, P and the point on the curve as Q. A general point on the curve Q, and so we are given here P, which is 3 minus 3, 3. And the general point Q on the curve will be for any value of x, f of x is going to be given by this equation, which is x minus 3 whole square. Okay? So that becomes Q. Now, since we have to minimize the distance from P to Q, we can use the distance formula that is s is equal to square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. The order really doesn't matter because we are squaring it, right? So s is the distance which we need to minimize. So let's uh, substitute these values and figure it out. So we get the distance s as equal to square root of, so I'll write this x minus x minus of minus becomes plus 3 whole square plus the y value here is x minus 3 whole square so this is complicated minus 3 right so do you see that whole square so that is what your distance is now to get the minimum distance the strategy for us will be that we'll try to figure out what is ds over dx and we'll equate it to 0 to get a critical number. Okay. So let's find the derivative of this function with respect to x. So we get ds over dx equals to square root function. That means half of everything. Let me just... So 2 and within square root we get everything. Which is x plus 3 whole square plus x minus 3 whole square minus 3 whole square. Correct? In the numerator, we get the derivative of this function. So derivative of this is 2 times x plus 3. Derivative of this will be plus 2 times all this. Let me write square bracket, which is um, x minus 3 whole square minus 3, right? So 2 times this times the derivative of our inside function, which is 2 times x minus 3. Do you see that? So don't miss that part. 2 times the inside function. So that becomes the derivative. Now we can definitely take uh, 2 as a common factor and we can write this as uh, x plus 3 uh, plus. So this is first part. This 2 we have taken as a common factor. We'll write 2x minus 3 and then we'll multiply within the bracket x minus 3 whole square minus 3 correct over square root of we cancel this 2 2 right so we get 2 over 2 that we'll cancel and within the square root we get x plus 3 whole square plus x minus 3 whole square minus 3 whole square within square root okay now for critical number, this has to be 0, right? So we'll equate this to 0. So the denominator goes away. And what we are left with is this numerator, which we need to equate to 0 and find the critical number. 
So from here, since we have to find critical number, ds dx should be 0. So this numerator, which is x plus 3 plus 2 times x minus 3, and then within bracket, we have x minus 3 whole square minus 3, right? That should be equal to 0. Okay, let's simplify this. So we have x plus 3 plus, we could write this as 2x minus 6 times, let us expand this. We have x square minus 6x plus 9, which is 3 square, and then we have minus 3 here, right? So that is, we have 0 equals 2 x plus 3. Now, let's rewrite this as plus 2x minus 6. We'll simplify the inside part. We have x squared minus 6x plus 6. And now we'll expand. We have x plus 3. Multiplying with 2x, I get 2x cubed and then minus 12x the last term will be plus 12 uh, minus 12x square and then we'll multiply this with this to get plus 12x now we are going to multiply with minus 6 so we get minus 6x square plus 36x and then we get minus 36 36x minus 36, right? So this is 36x. Now let's combine the like terms. We get 2x cubed. As far as x square terms are concerned, minus 12x square and minus 6x square will give us minus 18x square. The x terms here are x and then we have 12, 13x and 36. So 13 and 36 makes us 49. So we have plus 49x. The constant terms plus 3 minus 36 means minus 33. So we get our equation which is 2x cubed minus 18x squared plus 49x minus 33. Now we have to get its factors. So, so to get the factors if I substitute x equals to 1 then what do I get? I get 2 times 1 minus 18 plus 49 minus 33 which is equal to so 2 minus 18 means uh, 16 and then we have uh, if I add 16 and 33 I get minus 49 and that adds to 0 that means x equals to 1 is a critical number Correct. So, so for x equals to 1, we can always find the distance and that will be our answer, right? So the distance here is s equals to square root of, we'll replace this x with 1. We get 1 plus 3 whole square plus within brackets 1 minus 3 whole square minus 3 whole square square root. So that gives you square root of 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 16, plus this is uh, minus uh, 1 minus 3 is 2, minus 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 3, which is equal to square root of 16 plus 1, or is equal to square root of 17, right? So square root of 17 units will be the minimum distance uh, from the external point P to Q, right? So that is how we are going to solve it, correct? Now this critical number will definitely give us the minimum distance because if you take any other point on the curve and find the distance, it could be much, much larger, right? So that makes sense. So that is how we are going to solve for this particular question. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.